Hey guys, Legendary Grimlock here, and this is kind of my, like my own little review of Power Rangers Mega Force, if you will. And uh, don't hate me for what I'm about to say, but I didn't like it. Nah, I actually wanted to do the pretty much the series this, the series in general, because out of all the other ones, I've heard the most negative about it, and I wanted to see for myself. You know, like hey, wait, 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 let, let me watch it. And let me see if this, all this stuff y'all saying is true. And unfortunately, everything everyone was saying about it was true. That it was trash. The only thing good about it was the Ranger War. And, you know, stuff like that in general, right? But there are some things that were pretty good about it. For stars, I do like the fact that they were able to use some of the other Rangers' abilities. However, I do think that they should have been limited to some of the other Rangers. Also, I don't I did not like how Tommy was just put back in this Green Ranger suit when he should have been in his black Dino Ranger form because that is the last we saw him. The fact that they reduced him to a Green Ranger honestly just like demotes his power in general, in, in my opinion. It, it just like <coughs> mm, excuse me. It just like um kind of lowers him in my opinion. It, it just it does him dirty. You know, because Tommy went through a whole trial just to get a power stronger than the Green Dragon, stronger than the White Tiger and the White Falcon and the Red Zeo. And then here he is in black. And now y'all don't put him back back, back to square one. Like, I, I, I don't understand why they did that in general. <clears throat> them being trained by the other Rangers, I do have to admit that was pretty good here. And I do think they could have did, um, okay, they could have did a lot of things, uh, better, in my opinion. I do think that, and I might be just, you know, nitpicking here, I do think they could have had their own abilities like the other Rangers. I do think that, yes, I did like the fact they were able to use the other Rangers' powers and abilities, because it makes them super overpowered. So now you have pretty much a power, pretty much a composite Power Ranger, if you will. Uh, minus their super modes and pro basically their battle eyes as well. Oh, geez, they're probably not that overpowered in general. Oop, my bad. <laughs> but um, you have characters that can use the other rangers' powers and abilities, and them being able to exploit and use those abilities to their fullest. Okay, so that was pretty good. However, I do think that instead of doing that, they should have did something like with Power Rangers Samurai and gave them their own super mode. Well, basically, like they do with every Ranger team and give them their own, their own super mode. They never had their own super mode to really stand out. Like, go look up Power Ranger Samurai. All right, Super Samurai mode. Super Dino mode. Um, I think SPD had a Battleizer, and then there was Super Ninja Steel or Ninja Steel Super mode. You, you, you guys get what I mean, right? They didn't have... Um, they didn't have their really, uh, really their own in general. However, they did have some pretty interesting Megazord designs as well. When they combine with something like Ninja Storm, they combined with the Wild Force Red Line, which was good to see again. I did like the fact that they brought back a lot of returning, um, a lot of returning, uh, Zords, if you will, okay? I do think that was good for... Yeah, I do think that was good for the uh for the for the show. I do think that was good. Brought back a little bit of nostalgia. I do think all the toy lines should return. I, I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying all the toy lines could return. I, I just, it, it, there's no reason why they shouldn't. I'm just saying. No reason at all why they shouldn't return. We could easily have another Power Rangers toy line again. Bring back all the original Zords. Especially Wild Force because geez, they had one of the best Zord toy lines. But anyway, the, but they had they had some good Zord combinations. I do like how um, they were just able to use the other Zords in combination, and it kind of showed the writers' creativity in a way. Albeit it did have some lackluster in it. Now I'm not nitpicking at it, but again, it just lacked in. <clears throat> it it kind of just lacked in, I guess, effort, if you will. But, but you know what? I was actually pretty happy. I was actually hoping they would bring Titanus back, and 
I might that might be my last video on it. You know, because Titanus is actually a pretty underrated and a pretty powerful resort. Maybe I'll do a versus matchup with him and maybe say show how underrated he is. Maybe I'll do a power scaling for a Zord once, huh? Let, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys like a power scaling for Titanus, okay? So with that being said here, um yeah, uh, in all honesty, I do think Megaforce could have done better. And in all honesty, here's how I would have fixed it, right? The pretty much, instead of calling it Megaforce, it's Power Rangers Pirate Raid. Or something pirate related, alright? The villain is obviously a space pirate. But he's come to collect Earth, Brainiac style, okay? He wants to pretty much capture the Earth. And again, the Power Rangers Mega Force, or Pirate Force, if you will, are pretty much kind of like these good pirates, if you will. Pretty much like these Jack Sparrows, if you will. You, you know, they're pirates, but they're good people, but, but they're good. They're kind of like the Ocean Police, all right? Basically, SPD, but for the sea, all right? So, these guys would be able to pretty much do, you know, sword fighting. They would have their own pistols like in the original. Because, again, they fit the attire of being pirates. And, again, I would say their zords are the same. Except, their zords are more based on aquatic creatures. One is a whale. One knows an, another one's a dolphin. One could be a sea turtle. A penguin. And... Um... <clears throat> Let's say an otter, okay? Let's say an otter. Look, look, look. We've seen Zor creativity before, or a shark, okay? One could be a whale, a shark, a sea turtle, maybe even a seal. I, I mean, we have seen a seal Zor before, have we? Wait, have we? I don't think we have. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I do think it is pretty important that. <clears throat> oh wow, I'm so sorry. I do think it is pretty important that these guys stand out on their own. And the villain could be something like Blackbeard the alien or something. Blackbeard the space tyrant or Necrod or Galacticor. You, 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 you guys already know. They, they, they be thinking out some outlandish names for these villains. Sometimes they be a little out of, pocket, out of pocket looking. And maybe he could be like, you know, the flying Dutchman from um, Power Rangers. So in all honesty, uh, yeah, these guys could really have just been pirates, and I don't think anyone would have complained about it. You know, I think it would have been a nice theme here. I mean, we had Power Rangers Turbo, which were basically like street racers in general, Wild Force animals, Dino Thunder dinosaurs, Dino Charge bootleg dinosaurs, uh, Dino Fury again. <coughs> bootleg <laughs> wait i hear something bootleg dinosaurs oh yeah 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 yeah. Uh, yeah I, t I told you about that right yeah um let's see then you you, you know a lot of these guys should have stood out on their own is what i'm really trying to say here these guys could have easily been pirate themed rangers and at the end and they could have just activated their morphers yeah the same way like a key to a um treasure chest or whatnot and then you just have the you know they have the capacity to maybe even go further than that and it unlock their super modes via their own means so in all honesty um yeah these rangers had the they had the worst season but um they had the most potential to be great okay they had definitely had the most potential to be great then the ranger war could have actually been a crossover event between all the other rangers we could have seen a returning cast and this could have been like maybe a 10 episode special on how these guys operate how they're doing now and then we could see like rangers like dino thunder get their powers back people from jungle fairy leaving the Paishwa temple spd getting another call on their phone and being an emergency the Mystic Force team reuniting and going out to be Power Rangers, Power Rangers again, you know? Uh, Jungle Fury leaving the Pizza Hut Cafe, or, oh wait, I said the Pachua Temple, never mind. We can see the Wild Force team reunite with each other, and then we could probably see Merrick and Zenaku again. You know, this could have been a actual worldwide battle where all the Rangers team up 
to defeat this enemy's army. And then we get Mega Force being the most powerful and then finishing them off. But anyway, that's going to be all today. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and share with your friends. This is Legendary Grimlock, and peace out.